Hello everyone! So the other day, I had the displeasure of introducing you all to a streamer known as the Funko Pop Soyjack, also lesser known by his official name, James from the Internet. That's the name of his Twitch channel, all one word. Funko Pop Soyjack was going on an impassioned defense of Bow of the Fifth Column, noted human trafficker, and unable to actually grapple with the evidence on the case, but still wanting nonetheless to mount a defense of this human trafficker, Funko Pop Soyjack decided to throw out some threats directed at Mike from PA, someone who was actually going through the, the evidence and demonstrating the fact that Bo of the Fifth Column was actually a human trafficker who had lied incessantly about what he had done in his past. Now, the full extent of what Funko Pop Soyjack, aka James from the internet, had said to Mike from PA in Bo's defense was unfortunately scrubbed from the internet. Or at least Funko Pop Soyjack fought that. He thought that he'd gotten away with it. He thought that no one had these clips anymore, but you know, no one can escape my grasp. Ha ha ha, that's a joke by the way. But yeah, we have the clips and um, let's just say they're not very good and they're a lot more explicit than what he said in the one that I showed in the previous video. So here is a clear video of the Funko Pop Soyjack, James from the internet, outright threatening Mike from Pennsylvania, a, a, a fellow verified streamer on Twitch with forced disappearance for daring to reveal human trafficking, actual human trafficking. Like this guy, he supports human trafficking. That's the only possible reason why he would do this. I don't give a rat's dick. This guy thinks so fucking highly of himself. My God, look at him. He looks like a fucking porn star host. Also, Bo can disappear your ass. So watch your fucking tone. There you go. This guy thinks he's so fucking cool. It's unbelievable. Fucking people fucking around with shit they don't know about. Oh, I know about it. Bo is a human trafficker and you defended him. So yeah, there's the clip. There is the clip. Now, if this makes you angry, I'd like to show you what you can do about it. You can go to Twitch tv slash james from the internet and on his channel if if you think that this is way out of line for a verified twitch streamer to be saying to another verified Hunter twitch Biden, streamer here's especially in defense of human trafficking there's a little thing down here called report channel that you can click and then you can report him and you can link this video with a timestamp to that clip to show that he actually did it and make sure to emphasize if you do this you know totally of your own volition if this happens to enrage you that he was threatening a fellow verified Twitch streamer in the name of defending human trafficking. Now, so aside from that, I'd just like to note that absolutely everyone at the time pretty much came out in defense of the human traffic of Boa the Fifth Column, like people like Xander Hall. Mike from PA's attack on Boa the Fifth Column is downright malicious. Buddy, the evidence blatantly shows that he's a human trafficker. What? It's malicious. It's abso absolutely true. How dare you defend human trafficking, you fucking piece of shit. Probably the worst of them, though, was the serfs, who not only defended the human trafficker, Bo of the Fifth Column, but brought on this James from the internet, Soyjack, Funko Pop man, and agreed with him the entire time. Look, and just look at the thumbnail. You can see, haha, look, Mike from PA, he's a cop for, for outing someone as a literal human trafficker who exploited more than 200 young Eastern European women. And you can clearly see in the thumbnail, he's, he's framing it as like a double team of him and the fucking Funko Pop Soyjack guy who threatened to forcibly disappear Mike from PA for denouncing human trafficking on the other side with Mike in between them. Haha, <laughs> aren't we just destroying him together? And I mean, everyone knows that the surfs is um, not exactly very politically gifted, given that he loses debates like fucking far-right fascists every single time he tries one and makes them look good somehow, which is just fucking embarrassing. But um, defending a human trafficker and teaming up with someone who Fred enforced his appearance of someone who outed that human trafficker for clout is pretty much par for the course, isn't it? But yeah, this is utterly disgusting. It's so fucking utterly disgusting the way that these streamers coalesce around someone for whom there is massive insurmountable evidence of them literally doing human trafficking and attack the person who dared to reveal simple clear, publicly available evidence of it. Utterly disgusting. These people will do anything to defend their own. That's all it is. They don't have beliefs. They don't have principles. They don't have standards. All they have is in-groups and out-groups. And usually the out-group is anyone who attacks them or the people within that in-group who they always have to attack and delegitimize no matter how clearly wrong the evidence shows them to be. It is disgusting. But yeah, anyway, so just to remind you, Fungo Pop Soy Jack, this is his channel. Just to remind you, in case you wanted to know who the Funko Pop Soyjack, this is the Funko Pop Soyjack who again said this, who again said this in defense of human trafficking. Also, Bo can disappear your ass. So watch your fucking tone. Watch your fucking tone. Deadpool, Funko Pop, Boba Fett, Funko Pop. A million different, different um, volumes of Star Trek and Star Wars. 
Defending human trafficking. Well, we, we know why someone like this would defend human trafficking. We know why. Just look at him and you can tell why. This whole Bo thing and finding out about how these people all defended him, they all coalesced around him to defend him when the evidence for him being a human trafficker is fucking crystal clear. It's disgusting. And by the way, human trafficking by default means that there is forced labor involved. If it's not human trafficking, it would be alien smuggling or people smuggling. That's the difference. So he did human trafficking because he brought people over in order to make them work for him. Not the same thing as people smuggling, which these people like to muddy the waters about because they want to frame what Bo did is somehow noble, even though, as I've gone over, the evidence shows it very much was not. This guy is a disgusting defender of human trafficking, who clearly has a massively inflated opinion of himself, which is not absolutely not warranted to have either way, but really the worst thing about him is, is this. Apply to them, and I don't give a rat's dick. Also, Bo can disappear your ass, so watch your fucking tone. I'm not going to watch my tone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show everyone what you said here, this video that you thought you'd gotten rid of, you thought that no one would ever find again, and I'm going to publicize it, and I'm going to disseminate it, and I'm going to spread it. Maybe you should have watched your tone when you were defending human trafficking. Human trafficker defender. Anyway, yeah, so fucking disgusting. This, this whole situation just makes it clear to me that the correct move if you're a content creator is to just not get yourself into any circles with these other so-called content creators because all that they do is end up defending the absolute worst people for, for clout and for their own benefit. It could come out tomorrow that one of their own had like the corpses of 10 murdered women in his basement and they'd still probably defend him. They'd still probably try to find some made-up excuse to defend that. It's utterly absurd, this shit, and I'm so over it.